brought to you by Duncan Hines Cake Mixes. Duncan Hines, always an adventure in good eating. And now, let's all play What's My Line? From New York, let's meet our What's My Line panel. First, the young lady who is currently starring in The Apple Tree, the Broadway hit, Miss Phyllis Newman. Thank you. It's my great pleasure to introduce a very talented and very witty man. He opens next Monday in Dennis, Massachusetts in The Odd Couple, Henry Morgan. It's my pleasure to introduce a very talented and very witty woman who opens next Monday and nothing that I can think of. <laughs> but her name is sufficient to carry anything. Arlene Francis. <laughs> oh, is that a... <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. And now, one of the main reasons Mount Kisco is the best place to be on a summer weekend. The Count of Monte Cisco, uh, Bennett Sir. <laughs> well, it's my pleasure tonight, as usual, to introduce our disgustingly articulate master of ceremonies. He's just back from his favorite Tilton school up in New Hampshire, and he tells me that last night one of the townsfolk came staggering What in. time does this show go on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, may I finish, Henry? I was hoping you would. Uh, he, uh, I will bother. John, John Charles Bank. <laughs> well, actually, it's a good story, so I'll finish it. <laughs> If you don't mind, Henry, that is. No, I got all night. So the rest of the story is... I don't know as we have, though. The rest of the story is the man went home at 4 o'clock in the morning, and it, Bennett, you, you fix me if I'm wrong. And his wife said, what are you doing coming home at this hour? And he says, for breakfast. Right? <laughs> but, well, we've got some interesting occupations. <laughs> We're going to also have a famous mystery guest on the panel a little bit later in the show, but now let's meet our first contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? Judith Daniel, Right, ma'am? And is it uh, Miss or Mrs. Miss. Daniel? Mrs. Danielson, where are you from? Jamaica States, Long Island. Long Island, Jamaica yes. States. Ready, Mrs. Danielson, may I present the panel? Now, will you come over here, please? And uh, I will let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. Panel, we can tell you that Mrs. Danielson is salaried and deals in a service. And uh, we'll begin with Mr. Morgan. Ah, uh, ma'am, uh, the service you deal in, does it have to do with um, everybody? Yes. Men, women, children? Yes. Could. Well, she says it does. Mm -hmm. uh, does it do them good? Yes. Do you, when you uh, deal with these people, do they come to you? Yes. Do you have an office somewhere? Uh, uh, Henry, I think we have to give you a no, because if we were to agree it was an office, it would mislead you. It would not be called an office. Arlene? Is there anything instructive about what you do, Mrs. Danielson? Yes. Do you teach something? Yes. Uh, is what you teach musical? No. 
Two down and eight to go, Bennett. Mrs. Danielson, when you were teaching this thing, are you working for a profit-making organization? Mm, yes. Uh, is there anything that you teach that has anything to do with feats of strength or dexterity? Mm, sometimes. Is it, might it be a form of self-protection that you teach? Yes. Would it be either judo or karate? Yes. Well, actually, it, I must say, it's, a, yeah, it's actually a mixture of both. Yes. I think Mrs. Danielson works for an outfit called Jakarta, mm -hmm. Jakarta Inc., Jakarta. you know, and which is a, a breakdown of judo and, and karate, karate, and teaches um, only women and youngsters. Uh, you don't teach men at all, no, right? No, no. And uh, this all has to do with knowing where the, their weaknesses are, and uh, you don't have to be strong for no, them. No, not at all, no. Just uh, vulnerable areas. Could you uh, toss John right over your shoulder? Yes, but I wouldn't. <laughs> now, I could make it worth your while if we could get Bennett out there, you know. Uh, but uh, you, you have a first a, a prize, not a prize, I guess it's a mark of achievement. Yes, I have you? a black belt. A black belt. Dakota. And that oh. is just about as good as you can get, isn't it? Well, uh, you can get that. We have, uh, it all depends on the degrees, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, seventh, eighth. But if you have a black belt, this means you're an expert. Pretty good. Good. All right, Bennett, as um, Mrs. Danielson comes by to say good night, uh, duck. <laughs> well, thank you very much, ma'am. Nice to have you with us. <laughs> we'll have a, another contestant for you in just a moment after this word. And now to meet our next contestant, will you... Sign in after you've entered, please. Harry Ball. Right, sir? <laughs> Mr. Ball, where are you from? Florida. We're Orla from Orlando, Florida. Orlando, Florida. Nice to have you with us, Mr. Ball. May I present the panel? Now, will you join me over here, sir, and we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. Panel, we can tell you that Mr. Ball is self-employed and deals in a service. And we'll begin things with uh, Arlene. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Ball, does your service have anything to do with uh, living things? Yes, ma'am. Uh, do you work with uh, an animal of some kind? I do. Is it uh, uh, an animal that stays on the ground as a rule? Usually. Does it slither? No. <laughs> no slither. Doesn't even do the Watusi. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Ball, if it doesn't slither, we can eliminate then snakes and alligators. Is that correct? That's right. Uh, is the animal that you deal with then a domestic animal as in preference to a wild animal? That's right. Is it a four-legged animal? Yes, sir. Is it an animal that uh, is ever used in transportation? Could be. By that answer, can I eliminate the horse? Uh, no, actually, Bennett, I think probably we misled you there. So you don't don't be. eliminate the horse. It is a horse that uh, it's horses that you deal with. Yes, sir. Now we have to find out what you do with That's that. That's what you got to find out. Yes. Uh, and you do this in Orlando, Florida, Mr. Ball. Yes, sir. Done in Orlando, Florida. Well, he uh, does it there sometimes. This is not, uh, you know, if you want to inquire as to whether he moves about a good deal, we'd be happy to entertain your question. Can I eliminate the whole uh, business of horse racing? No. I can't. Well, then I get a no. Yeah, I think we have to give you a no there, because you, you, you said eliminate the whole business of horse racing, and we can't, we got to give you a no. That's two down at eight to go, Phyllis. Well, then the horses that you deal with have something uh, to do with racing? Sometimes. Sometimes, 
Do you have anything to do with the breeding and raising of horses? No. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Morgan. Well, then, Mr. Ball, do you have uh, something to do with training of horses? No, sir. Four down and six to go, our lead. Have to. Do you, Mr. Ball, do anything to the horse? Yes, sir. Would you shoe a wild mare? No. Are you a horseshoe uh, expert? <laughs> five down and five to go, better. Now, Mr. Ball, you do do something to the horse. That's right. Uh, is it, uh, since it's not horseshoeing, can we eliminate the horse's legs? Yes, sir. Is it above the horse's neck that you do it? <laughs> I, I don't know where I'm going with it. <laughs> don't go backwards. <laughs> I've eliminated the part the from the neck up. Is that correct? No, you... you no. I no, said... You eliminated everything from the neck butt down. down. Right. Uh, has it got anything to do with the, with the horse's mouth? Yes, sir. Do you make bits or sharpen their teeth or do something to the inside of a horse's mouth? Yes, sir. Yes. A horse yes. dentist. Certainly. A horse dentist? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Ball does extractions. He files down the sharp points and he levels off the teeth so that they have a good bite. Excuse and me. he's been traveling. Hmm? No, how many teeth do a, a horse does a horse have? A horse has forty and a mare has thirty-six. Women always get the short end of the deal. <laughs> He travels about 75,000 miles a year. That's right. Treats two to 3,000 horses, depending on the year. He's been doing it for 26 years. Travels all over the country. And 13 years ago, he was sitting right next to me on What's My Line. And Arlene and Bennett, you were both there. Oh, and really? Yeah, that was, that's one reason we were so happy he could come back. Yeah, Arlene and I were younger then. You were younger then. <laughs> Are you trying to suggest that your teeth didn't need care then, Bennett? <laughs> huh? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Yeah? Could I ask a question? Please do. Mr. Ball, is it true that 13% of the horses have 42% fewer cavities? <laughs> but that's only because they're always on the ball. <laughs> Nice to you to come back and visit with you. Wonderful to see you again. Oh, good to have you back again, sir. Thanks very much. Nice to see you. We'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, this message. Now, the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery challenger, for which, as you all know, the panel is blindfolded. Are blindfolds in place, panel? Yes, yes sir. Good. Will you enter mystery challenger and sign in, please? As you know, a different form of questioning this time. One question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise, and we'll begin things with uh, Phyllis Newman. That was an extraordinary reception. Are you somewhat of an institution? <laughs> I may answer that question and say certainly yes. Mr. Morgan, are you um, a male institution? <laughs> See, Miss Francis? <laughs> well, are you making a picture here in the East? <laughs> Yes. Mr. Sir. 
Well, there's a great big all-star baseball game coming up. Have you got anything to do with the sports world? Nine. <laughs> Nine? <laughs> no? Nine. That's two down a date to go, Miss Newman. Are you tall and wildly attractive? <laughs> We. <laughs> Mr. Morgan? I... I... I didn't... Uh, follow, uh, you're tall and wildly attractive? <laughs> I, I... Really, I couldn't hear the answer because yes. of the... the yes. Yes. Are you President Johnson? <laughs> Nine. That's three down and seven to go, Miss Francis. I don't care who you are. I hope you stay forever. <laughs> uh, are you Rock Hudson? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, that's four down and six to go, Mr. Surf. Are you in something other than the entertainment business? Oui. <laughs> Yes. We can't hear the answer. He is. Are you yes. just the most adorable mayor there's ever been? Ah. <laughs> <Gee. laughs> that is no. That's five down and five to go, Mr. Morgan. What are you doing about the trouble with the buildings up? Wait, I may have the wrong guy. Yes. <laughs> are you the mayor of New York? That's no. Six down and four to go, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Oh, dear. Are you indeed in government? See, si. Mr. Sir. Oh. Do you sometimes, on the side, make a record or two? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, are you Senator Dirksen? Elected to the House of Representatives in 1932, to the Senate of the United States in 1950, and in 1966 made his, I guess, your first recording. Of course, not act the first one for national distribution. It became an instantaneous hit. <laughs> and in 1967, has made another recording for Capitol Records. Man is not alone. Man is not alone. And knowing a bit about Washington, and having, uh, having had the joy, if I may say so, sir, of knowing the senator since 1937, when I first went to Washington, I know that he feels that uh, one of the problems that we all suffer from these days is a malaise of the spirit. And man is not alone is a return to some of the values which, as a boy, he learned in New in Illinois, which he thinks will help all of us. And, that's right. and I think... Uh, with you doing the record, sir, it's got to be insp inspire a lot of people. It's wonderful to have you. John, I try to make it so. And wonderful to have you. And I must say, you're such, you're such a wonderful sport. You had as much fun here as we did while they rocked Hudson all over the place and mayored all over the place. So good to see you again, sir. I bet you be good. as bright a moment as we've had on What's My Line in 17 and a half years. He got a bigger reception than Casey's Tango guy. He got a bigger reception than Casey's Tango or Rock Hudson. Well, you've done very well, panel. We'll have another contestant after this word. Because there's one thing that comes out of that last exchange. Bennett now will be walking around saying that he's tall and what was it you said? Wildly attractive. Wildly attractive. <laughs> Bennett's uh, tall and wildly attractive. What a dreadful thing to say about Bennett. Well, now let's have a final contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? Bob? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> uh, Bob Gustikov. Oh, all right. Bob right. uh, what? And 
Where are you from, Mr. Gusikoff? I'm from New York. From New York. New York, sir. Nice to have you mm -hmm. with us. Mr. Gusikoff, may I present the panel? How do you do? Now, would you join me over here, sir? And we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. Panel, we can tell you that Mr. Gustikoff is self-employed and deals in a service, and we'll begin things with uh, Bennett Cerf. Mr. Gustikoff, is your service performed for human beings? Yes. Both sexes? Yes. Sometimes for children, possibly? Yes. Uh, if, when the performance of this service, do you touch the people in any way? No. Nope. One down and nine to go, Miss Newman. Um, do you have anything whatsoever to do with music, the world of music? No. Two down at eight to go, Mr. Morgan. Bob, do you consider yourself in any way a teacher? Yes. Um, There's an element of that, but this, this is tangential to his principal function, which we're here to identify. Uh-huh. Well, then can I assume that uh, what you do is helpful to people? Yes. Does it... Now, uh, uh, I think uh, Miss Newman establishes men, women, and children. Do you help them to, um, this is sort of dumb, but are they happier when you have attended to them? The supposition would be that if they're there to... I was hoping for a yes or no. Well, you're probably not going to get one, so oh. hang on. <laughs> uh, the supposition is if they seek the service that they will be happier as a result of having had it, yes. Mm -hmm. Bob, is what you do more in um, a mental area than a physical area? No. Three down and seven to go. Ali. Do you move around quite a bit in your work? Yes. Um, sort of uh, leaping and jumping and that sort of thing? Yes. I know where you understand, but I just thought I'd ask that because you came in very gingerly, so you moved around on your feet very lightly. And you don't show people how to box or anything no, like that. No. No. That's, uh, no, but I said you don't. No, that's right. The double negative <laughs> right. is the primitive. Yes, <laughs> caught you you caught, caught me right, right in the open. Is, yes. um, is what you do done uh, out of doors? No. That makes it four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Now, did I hear you say, Mr. Gusikoff, that you... Bennett, may I? Okay, sorry, Bennett. I just wanted to straighten out something. Oh, Thank did, you. Go did, ahead. Did I hear you say that music is no part of the work that you do? That's correct. But you do jump around indoors. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Uh, would Not this so. would this be any form of uh, exercise or athletics? That's correct. Yes. Is it athletics rather than exercise? Yes. Is it some kind of a game that you play inside? Yes. Is there a ball in the game? Yes. Is it ping pong? Yes. Sir. <laughs> Mr. Gusikoff is a professional ping pong player, table tennis player. He's been U.S. champion yes. and Canadian champion, and he does exhibitions. Matter of fact, you're going to be doing one not too in, in one of the clubs. Yes, at the Vanderbilt tennis court. Vanderbilt tennis court. Right. I have the Chinese. So he he really knows how to play, and he's going to play with the Chinese who are supposed to be the best in the world, right? Right. That's right. Thanks very much, Mr. Gusikoff. Thank Gusekoff. you. Nice to have you with us. So, uh, Phyllis, nice to have had you with us again, and good night, ma'am. Thank you, John. Nice to be here. Good night, Henry. Good night, Phyllis. Good night, uh, Arlene. Happy playing in Dennis. Thank and you, good dear. night, Bennett, dear. Good night, John, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Good night, Bennett. And thanks to all of you for being with us on What's My Line? production in association with Mark Woodson and Bill Cox. With Francis Gown from Bonwood Teller. This is Johnny Olson speaking.